YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Boba, and welcome back to another play review on the channel. I hope you guys are having an incredible day. In today's video, boys, we're going to go ahead and check out another Future Stars Academy Evo. It's none other than Junior Dina Ibembe. Ibembe is a 90-rated card. He has medium-medium work rates, right-footed with four-star skill moves and three-star weak foot. Now, we do see a lot of versatility with the card, which is always great to see. He can play the right mid, right wing back, center mid, and right wing positions. Now, I've seen on Twitter a lot of people are saying that as a center mid, they think that he's probably going to be one of the best in the game, so that's going to be very interesting to test out if we go ahead and look at his in-game stats in a bit more detail boys we can see that the card is very well rounded apart from his defending he does have a whopping 95 pace with 96 acceleration and 95 sprint speed should be absolutely electric in game now the 85 shooting is a decent stat you want him to be a bit of an attacking threat as well really good attacking positioning at 91 99 shot power as well but he doesn't have the craziest of finishing and long shots 82 finishing and 81 long shots hopefully he's still clinical in game 87 passing is going to be a very important stat especially as a center mid 87 vision 95 short pass and 87 long pass i think his passing is going to be very accurate 91 dribbling a phenomenal stat for the card you can definitely expect them to be very quick and swift on the ball 93 agility 90 balance 90 reactions and 93 ball control now as a center mid with medium medium work rates we do need him to be quite good defensively as well but his defending stats aren't anything too crazy 75 interception 71 defensive awareness and 71 stand tackle so i think we're going to go ahead and use him as a more advanced center mid and then last but not least boys and a huge part to his game 90 physical for the card 96 jumping 94 stamina 90 strength and 83 aggression i think he's going to be an absolute tank in the middle if we jump on over to footman boys we can see that ibembe does have five different play styles he has the power header and acrobatic play style plus and then he does also have the anticipate rapid and chip shot so nothing too crazy when it comes to his play styles and when it comes to chemistry styles boys i do think that the shooting and defending could be a lot better with the card and because of that boys i'm going to go ahead and recommend the gladiator chem style it's really going to help out with the shooting and then also his defending it's going to give him 91 shooting overall but most importantly is going to give him a plus 12 to his finishing so he is going to have 94 finishing and 99 shot power and then it's also going to have like a nice little upgrade to his defending as well 78 defending overall with 83 interceptions 79 defensive awareness and 79 stand tackle again nothing too crazy but it's going to be very interesting to see how he plays in game with the gladiator he does become a 91 rated center attacking mid so that's going to be very interesting to test out now another chemistry style that actually might be a pretty solid option boys is the powerhouse and with the powerhouse he does become a 93 rated center mid now with the powerhouse we're going to increase his passing but i already think that his passing is probably going to be really good in game he's going to have 99 vision with 99 short pass and 95 long pass and it's also going to give him 83 interception 75 defensive awareness and 83 stand tackle I think any of those two chemistry styles are going to work best for the card. As always, boys, if you guys do enjoy these FC24 play reviews, go ahead and do me a huge favor. If you guys can, leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated. This is a team we're going to be using in foot champions to test out the new Ibembe card. We're going to be playing them at the center mid position in the 4-3-2-1 formation. So without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number one and we are coming up against a really, really solid team. Ronaldo, Smith, Eusebio, Vieira. It's it's going to be a tough game now as you guys probably already know there is a lot of hype around this ibembe card if we go ahead and test out his dribbling real quick now he should be very quick and swift on the ball he does have a bit of a bigger frame yeah man i will say man the left stick dribbling is quite good ibembe good interception right there so some decent defensive awareness as well i think defensively with this frame he should be quite good ibembe ball roll left stick dribbling in and around the box it isn't half bad He's not the most quick and swift player I've ever used. A little step over right there. Good acceleration after the step over. I will say he is really quick. The 95 pace does feel quite real. Ibembe, heel to heel. Does have three-star weak foot. We go Trivella near post. It's a decent attempt, boys. Really good attacking positioning right there. I'm not going to lie. I feel like we could have scored. Ibembe, watch this, boys. Watch this, boys. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Ibembe, man, what a finish. He does have 99 shot power. That's a huge part to his game. Now, defensively, for the most part, hasn't been that bad, man. I think the manual defending is really good. And with this physicality, you can get a lot of the defensive job done with him. Ibembe, good sprint speed right here. He is very quick. I might just try to maybe go down the byline. A lot of power, boys. Look at the strength right there. Alfonso Davies, get off of us. Step over. Good acceleration. Oh, he's, he's got the tackle. No way, man. Really good strength right there. Couldn't you maybe just try to get like an interception or like a really good tackle? Ibembe, boys. Nice physicality, man. He's very good defensively, even though he doesn't have good defensive stats. All right, boys. Here we are jumping into game number two. And so far, so good, man. I do think that he makes a really solid center mid. 
super team. Now, I think so far his pace is the, probably the standout stat, man. I think there's a lot of power behind his runs. His finishing has been quite good as well and defensively has been pretty solid. I didn't expect him to be as good as he was defensively. Ibembe. The initial touch is very good. All the way. Ibembe. He's playing Hullet as a center back. Ooh, boys, the power and like the left stick dribbling right now isn't even half bad. Look at that. Good close control. Ibembe, drop of the shoulder. We're getting like triple teamed right there. Good touch, boys. Ibembe, decent positioning right there. Good defensive awareness. Now right here, boys, this is probably where he excels. Look at the sprint speed. So much power behind his runs. He's very quick. The passing for the most part has been really good as well. Should get himself an assist. Nice. Good tackle, Walker. Game's a bit scrappy at the moment. I don't know if that really suits us. Ibembe, good little step over right there. The finishing maybe could have been a little bit better. We probably should have released the shot a lot quicker. Nice. Ibembe through the middle. Good attacking positioning. Good touch. He might move his goalkeeper. That's more like it, boys. Really good attacking positioning. He picks up really good areas. Ibembe, defensive cover a little bit. Very good in the tackle, man. I think the physicality really helps out with his defending overall. And the attacking positioning is great. We're probably not going to get to this. That's a bit unlucky, but another good run. Right here, boys. Take two. Take two. Ibembe. No way. Oh, boys, it's a good attempt. That's actually a really good thing to try out. Ibembe. I don't think he's going to track the run. Little touch. That's good, boys. Good power again. Finesse shot near post. Good finish, man. He has been quite clinical. We missed a few chances, but that was definitely my bad. Right here, we'll just go ahead and play it short and give it back to Ibembe. Left stick dribbling. Out of trouble. Now, whenever you do left stick dribbling, if you use like his strength, he can definitely hold off a lot of players. I think we maybe have to incorporate our fullbacks a little bit in the game just so that we have a few more extra bodies. Ibembe, that's a great touch. Cut back. Thierry Henry. Oh, boys, we've actually put it wide. Ibembe did everything really well right there. The cutback was perfect. Still got time, boys. We still got time. Ibembe on the overlap. Touch, touch. Ball roll. Does well. Beautiful, man. Going forward has been really good. Ibembe, I'm just going to try to maybe turn him right here. Nice. Ooh, the step over wasn't great. Play through. One more. Cantona. Come on, boys. I thought we choked right there. That's what I'm talking about. The little turn right there from Ibembe and the initial pass was really nice. Good tackle, boys. We had to get that right. Ibembe. Can we pick out the pass? Sterling. Lots of space. It's a great ball, man. Very accurate pass right there. Cut back. It's a bit ratty, boys, that we went for the sweat, but we had to, boys. Ibembe, that pass right there was fantastic. All right, boys, here we are jumping into our final game using the man, the myth, the legend. We're coming up against a pretty interesting team. Red R9, Red Butragueño, Drugba, Puteas. Try to maybe get Ibembe in behind. I feel like, like whenever you make a run with your center mid, the other like players don't really track him. That's a good finish, man. A lot of shot power. That's a huge part to his game. Take your space. That's a good ball. Ibembe, the left stick dribbling. He's defending with Drogba. Good ball. Step over. Ooh, that touch, boys. I will say the initial touch to get away from the defender, that's a really good thing to use in game. If you flick the right stick in the direction that you want to run, he's very quick. Ibembe, make that run. Little touch. He's not expecting it. Look for the cutback. It's a lovely ball, boys. The passing right there. You can get a lot of assists with the card as well, which is great. I'm not going to lie, man. There wasn't a lot of room for error right there. So the pass had to be perfect, and it was. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Future Stars Evolution Dina in a few games of Foot Champions. And to be completely honest, man, another very solid player. Now, as you guys know, we did go ahead and play him as a center mid. There is a lot of versatility with the card. And as a center mid, I do think that he is very solid. If we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail, the 95 pace, man, he is very quick and there is a lot of power behind his runs 85 shooting was a really solid stat as well 91 attacking positioning 82 finishing and 99 shot power he was very clinical which was nice to see now the 87 passing is a very important stat for the card because we do need him as a center mid to have really good passing and his passing in game was accurate now the 91 dribbling he was quite quick and swift on the ball but he does have a bit of a bigger build so there is a bit of clunkiness to him i feel like sometimes when you are sprinting with him and you do have to maybe like execute a skill move or maybe like take a sharp turn it's gonna definitely be a bit slower than some of the other players now with the gladiator chem style his defending was actually pretty solid i do think whatever he lacks defensively he makes up for it with this physicality and then last but not least boys in a huge part to his game the 90 physical he is definitely a physical presence in the midfield very strong now as you guys probably already know we did do a player review on okafor we did a player review on atinia and then also millard if i had to go ahead and compare ibembe to those players i do think that they're a tad bit
bit better and more OP in game. Now, Ibembe is a fantastic player and I love the versatility with the card. I think that he can make a really solid center mid and maybe even right wing back. But I do think if we just go ahead and look at the meta of this year in FC24, I do think that the other three players are a bit better than him. That doesn't take anything away from Ibemba because Millard and then also Atinia Okafor, those are all fantastic players. I just think that they're a little bit better than him. But like I said, boys, it's going to come down to what you need in your starting 11. If you need a striker, you go with Okafor. You can go with Millard if you need a player out wide or Atinia. But if you do need a center mid in your starting 11, Ibembe is a fantastic option, man. I really enjoyed using him and I would highly recommend him. But that is going to be the end of today's video, boys. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like. Comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review. And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new, boys. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I've been your boy Booba and I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace.